Welcome back to another episode of Last Day of Survival. Today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, I hope you're having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety. That only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. Apologies if we sound a little bit different. We are officially back at the home setup because as I was talking about, hey, it's the one where we got to watch these guys attack the horde, do the heavy lifting, and then we steal their stuff and steal their choppers. And it's all around a pretty fun time. But uh, yeah, we are sounding different because spring break literally just started the other day today i'm also very sorry this is like pretty much the only video going up it's today as well because today was pretty much a dedicated travel day spent all day traveling getting some stuff unpacked and whatnot for home and we do have the home setup going it is like a different microphone stuff so if we do sound a little bit different we are also playing on like my laptop but for last day on earth that shouldn't be too noticeable or anything but just want to give you guys a heads up regarding what is going on and the fact that that has begun and that today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video as we still got some very dope stuff planned we got a raid coming up we got a chopper raid over here and a military convoy to visit and maybe if we get lucky we'll have a finger to collect and some goods to get out of that as well but it's gonna be a little bit on the shorter side since like i'm saying today's just been a very hectic day kind of getting everything set up back at home for this week of spring break because i'm not doing anything too crazy for spring break it's pretty much just hey hello how are you doing and yeah just kind of like chilling at home a little bit yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all I got since, I mean, no one really stays at school over spring break, at least that I've known of so far. And I get to see my girlfriend a little bit, which is a really nice touch with that. But enough talking about that. That's just kind of like what's going to be going on. So that's why we might be sounding different throughout this next week. And are we done or is there one more zombie horde coming here? Because I, is this, is this the lone survivor? Do I have, do I have the green arrow to shoot? I don't know if I have it, but YOLO. Ho -ho. Goodbye to you. And with that, we have this entire place to go ahead and loot up and gain the goodies out of. But uh, yeah, today we are also going to be announcing the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway and kicking off a brand new $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway as well. In case you guys don't know about that, all that you got to do to go ahead and enter in on that bad boy is leave a comment down below. Make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. That will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that would be what up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as a type of new info comes out we are diving headfirst into that stuff and sh and whatchamacall breaking it down connecting the dots with other information released in the past to give us the clearest look at future updates not to mention as soon as any type of new update such as that dope global update map thing oh hello I like what I am seeing out of here all of a sudden, but such as that uh, update that has been being teased lately. Oh, baby, that's going to be a big boy. We've gotten multiple confirmations and teasers that it's going to be the next update we can expect. And by the looks of it, it's shaping up to be some sort of a super dope update 1.12. We've been talking about that quite a little bit throughout the last couple of videos. So I'm not going to rehash too much of that info, but my hype is still there. And as soon as that update comes out, dude, we're going to be checking out everything, showing off the new map. Potentially, by the looks of it, the new events that might be coming along with it as well dude i'm down for that along with apparently the ai bases are going to be changing so we are going to be checking those out obviously there's just a lot of stuff coming in with it that i am so excited to get my hands on man that update is going to be dope and honestly if you guys need an idea for something to drop in that comment section down below let me know what you guys think regarding this freaking update and like what events you guys would want to see because honestly another thing that we talked about just the other day was the fact that you know they talked about how the global map they do want to revamp it to actually open up the area so there's more room for events because for example i think this is like situations like this where things kind of get pretty crowded you guys can see over here things are looking pretty thick pretty dense and i think that they did want to like kind of space it out a little bit so it's not as crowded and whatnot for more events and they have also talked a little bit about how they want to bring the shipwreck and smuggler's camp event Oh, sorry about the little burp there. Back potentially as well. So a lot of things coming into play there. So potentially those are going to be returning along with other just new events coming along as well. So that update is going to be super dope. Definitely looking forward to that. Just as I'm looking forward to bringing death to the Raiders and their freaking disappearing guns, man. I'm so salty that these Raiders, that first guy we got to kill is an M16. And you can't even steal it, dude. What type of an M16 disappears out of thin air? Not an M16 that I'm a fan of. Let me just say, I'm a fan of M16s that... 
you know, I can actually physically hold. Not freaking Ghost Rider M16s out here, but we're already almost done clearing out the Raiders and taking some of these dudes out because I got to take out the frustrations on the Raiders because they didn't leave footsteps today. They raided me. No footsteps left behind. So we're doing a raid of our own accord. A little bit salty about that. If, if y'all can't tell, a little, little bit of salt in, in, in there. Don't, don't, know what you're, don't know what you're talking about. No salt whatsoever, actually. It's a yolk. It's, it's a total yolk. But we're getting our revenge and taking our frustrations out on these dudes. I'm actually looking to see if we had a little bit of food with us. Does not look like it at the time being, but hey, that's a okay. Bye bye, and off Vitor Shane to you. Ooh, we actually got us some better armor we could go ahead and pick up from you. And the important question throughout this all comrades is Will there be within you the severed fingers? Freaking go, my dude, my dude, my dude. And I'll probably put away some of these kind of less valuable things we have accrued as well and just kind of like prioritize some of the better things we have over here to go ahead and bring into our loot stores back at home but uh yeah all that like totally broken armor is uh that's, a, that's probably a no-go back at home uh this stuff on the other hand is looking a little bit nicer and i might even end up leaving behind some of that thick cloth the thick fabric never mind i don't want to misclassify the thickness and what it represents and we also got this little bag over here which will be containing what you got for me little baggy Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. We got some glue. Just what every lad like me wants to have. That, that freaking nailed down the demographic. You know what I want. But as soon as that update comes out, we're going to be diving headfirst into it. So that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date as we check out and have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time with that update and showcase every single little thing that it comes with. New locations, new bosses, new loots, new enemies. Doesn't matter what it is. It's being showcased. Doesn't matter how expensive or how hard it is to do. It's being showcased. So, yeah, stay in tune. And that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. Not to mention a great way to stay in the loop with every single video y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway, which today marks the beginning of the new weekly giveaway today's the first video you guys can enter in on throughout this upcoming week so make sure you guys are getting those entries in throughout the upcoming week of last day on earth videos and you know keep track of like life after videos and whatnot too because you guys really seem to be enjoying that series so far gonna be trying to uh ooh, that's what i'm looking for baby give me the birds give me the birds give me the birds that's what i've been needing man nothing like some beans to fill up this belly of mine and let's go and see what we got with ten. Yeah, we got some glue got a little bit of glue Okie dokie, thank you for the glue, but no thank you for the time being. Me and this finger got a date with the bunker. So, after we go and open up the last chest over here and completely clear out this military convoy, we'll go make a hello. That is why we clear, ladies and gentlemen, because this military convoy also, thank you for the beans, does have a chance at having a vat right there. A marvelous little aluminium plate. Now, I already have a giant stockpile of wiring back at home, so I might end up leaving that behind. Actually, hold up really quickly. I'm going to just reorganize things. What I think we're going to try to do is actually, I think I should have some room for some gas up in the chopper since the back of my chopper is kind of already, god dang it, did not mean to get onto the front of it. The back of our chopper is already kind of stocked with our raiding materials. Ho, 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 ho. But, hey, we got a little bit of room for that gasolina. And with that getting plopped on into there, we are looking a okay, baby, baby. Let's go and get those wires back. And I think we're looking pretty looted and booted. Over to the bunker we go. And I know that the bunker is actually about to close, but I do need to record this video now. So we cannot do a bunker run today either, guys. Apologies about that. And that's why this video is also going to be a little bit on the shorter side. Because recording at home and whatnot, just because today's been a day of travel and whatnot. I'm just a little bit behind schedule compared to usual. Like, I couldn't start recording in the morning like I always try to do. So if it's a shorter video, I can get it out to you guys faster. And I don't want this video to go out at like 4 a.m. my time or something, you know. Because I don't have the... I don't the fiber internet here either <laughs> let me just say i've been spoiled by college we literally have the one gigabyte internet over there we get 1000 megabits per second man i have been spoiled every time i go home i'm always like jesus i forgot uploads actually take this much time you know like literally at school i will upload a video it takes youtube longer to process the video than it takes for me to upload it at home I wish I was that spoiled, man. I wish, but I still can't complain. We got some pretty decent inter internet ante. I was going to try to put a little interessante spin on the word internet ante, and that didn't really work, unfortunately. But can you give me some interest in loot? Interessante loot, I should say, Mr. Shell. Come on, baby. No way, 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 me. Thank you very much for some more aluminium. A little bit of the copper. <clears throat> mm. 
We might end up leaving... I'll leave those behind for the time being and that shirt and we'll pick up a couple of other things. Chow down on them beans over there. And with that, we are looking pretty prepared and like we've gotten everything we want out of here. Unless maybe an airdrop appears. I think we should be looking good from this angle. Let's make our way back home and then ultimately loop over to that raid once we are prepared. Because we got more than enough C4 to make this raid come to fruition today, ladies and gentlemen. But so yeah, we'll be announcing the winner of that past week's giveaway like i was saying a little bit later in today's video so make sure that you guys are sticking around for that and like i'm saying make sure best of luck to you guys in that upcoming week's worth of videos and ultimately next saturday when we announce the winner that is the randomly chosen video from that and a randomly chosen comment from a randomly chosen video from the past week and ooh, okay so i think the game plan is because that's like right next to the base we're rating why don't we go back home i think that's move numero uno we need to definitely put some of this stuff away because we got, honestly, some pretty decent stuff between the chopper event, the military convoy, and the finger. We're walking out of here with a, a decent amount of metal. And honestly, we haven't, we didn't really have to shoot a lot of things either. We got some revenge on the raiders. We couldn't directly revenge raid them, but hey, we got to kill some raiders out of the military convoy. Ah! Cannot complain about that, but uh, oh, hold on, I accidentally running over my dead body, as per usual. I really got, I gotta hire another guy to freaking move that dead body out of there or something, but I'll probably end up running over that other guy at some point. It's just an endless cycle, there's just, there's a dead body in the garage, I don't know what to do about it, man. Garage is haunted, freaking ghost of Christmas passed out here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead, get my inventory organized, and we will commence the raids. And as you boys and girls may be able to see from that beautiful thing known as our inventory, it is looking nice and empty, which means we are looking nice and ready to get the necessary tools for today's raid, which with the help of that C4 and iron hatchets we already have crafted up, is gonna be looking like it will be no match for the weapons that we are bringing to try and break that bad boy down. So, on to the carnival. Ah, the dirty carnival chopper. We might need to go ahead and give this bad boy a bath here in a little bit. But listen. Alright. A dirty chopper. I think that's a horrifying sign. It's gotten dirty from all the bases we've been raiding. So, I want to strike some fear into this base that we are about to go ahead and freaking just absolutely poop on, you know? But, uh, yeah, for real, looking forward to what you guys got to say regarding some of the events you guys think might be coming to the game and potentially events returning to the game as well with that global map and maybe, you know, how you guys' weekend is going. Hopefully, it's absolutely fan freaking fantastic and only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. So, whether that be maybe from getting the giggle from my video or maybe just something else going on in those wonderful lives of yours, I hope that it only improves and keeps on getting some smiles on your faces and spreading some of that positivity. And I hope you guys are enjoying some of the other videos going up on the channel as well. Although, just as a little bit of a heads up, the videos might be a bit more sporadic. I'm still going to do my best. Hello. So, this is what we are dealing with today. It looks like we got a little bit of stone. And other than that, we're just going to patrol the rest of this place. But I think it's looking like we might need to use one C4. And I think that might be all that there is as well. But like I was saying, uh, still going to be doing everything in my power. And last day on Earth should still be continuing daily. That should not be an issue. But getting other videos out just might be a bit of a challenge since we do not have the usual setup. So Life After should also be possible as well. Although that might take some setting up just due to the fact that it's on an emulator. So the progress is easy to carry over. But some other games might be a little bit on the harder side to do. Which is just a little bit of a heads up to you guys over there. Just regarding kind of what to expect within this next week. Maybe we'll try to like get a vlog or something uploaded. Is that something you guys might want to see? Let's try to find something fun to do over here back at home. I'm, I'm definitely down to try. And before we commence the blowing into this raid and having some fun, let's go and announce the winner of this past week's $25 ITC Play Store gift card giveaway, which congrats to the randomly chosen video where we went over this cool method where you could actually do some multiplayer trading. Since then, it was kind of patched a little bit since this was kind of like a workaround to enable trading in a sense. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of been worked around to the point where if you do use this method that we talk about, you can actually potentially totally lose these items so they might just like lose durability due to the new like uh looting drop system it's yeah that video kind of the video after that too talks about that a lot more but long story short that's randomly chosen video and huge congrats to the randomly chosen comments quinton god as i'm saying saw dude saw quinton it's a you huge congrats my man on winning this past week's 25 dollar i2 slash play store a gift card giveaway go ahead and reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below letting me know the best way to go ahead and privately get in touch with you so I could go ahead and get you that marvelous code of yours that you have rightfully won. And just it's gotta be like what you call. I can't like just reply to your comment or anything. Like I do need to know like a way to privately get in touch with you. Let's go. Pretty decent stuff in there. 
Uh, I do need to privately get in touch with you because it is a code. If someone else sees the code, they can redeem it. And I also got to make sure that it's like the Android or iOS code that you need. I also got to make sure it's for like the proper country and stuff. So just got to figure out some of those background logistics so I can make sure you get them $25 coming your way. Absolutely. ASAP to just reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below. We'll get in touch. We'll go ahead and get that stuff sorted out for you, my marvelous dude. And to everyone else. Hence, everybody else, best of luck in the brand new $25 iTunes Touch Play Store gift card giveaway. Kick it off this very day. Wishing y'all nothing but the absolutely most fantastic, fantastic of luck throughout this next week. Where, honestly, given also, here's the thing. It's looking like it might be a hype week. Because from what we have seen, at least given the fact that the cipher for the next update, that got, like, decipher and stuff kind of revealing the global map change, that got deciphered early this week. Obviously, we have confirmation that I think they're putting, like, the finishing touches or something on, like, the global map update or something from what i think uh vigilante said the other day it looks like uh, we are getting close ladies and gentlemen and i think that this week is looking like a pretty realistic time frame at least given some of the hints that they've been dropping over here it's looking like a realistic time frame for this update to drop and when it does oh mama we gonna be having some fun every single day of the week and depending on how big it is because like i'm saying this might actually be a very massive one uh there might be some days where multiple last day on earth videos are going up so get hype 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 ladies and gentlemen it is gonna be an absolutely fun one and you know we gonna be having the most fun across all of youtube with it as well so stay tuned and whoop, 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 whoop. we got a zornberg the hell out of here we, I do not want to get trapped in that little corner area. I want to run, 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 skedaddle and take out some of the fast biters before they mob up on us too much and do a lot of damage to our SWAT armor because, well, I'm not exactly one who likes his SWAT armor being broken. Let's go and hit the Toxic Abomination with the slow-mo so we can deal with this freaking henchman over here, these floated bloater douche canoes, and take them down to the ground. Woo! Get ourselves a level up. We will be applying unto just one moment and continue taking down the rest of these guys because it's a good idea to actually hit this guy with a slow mo skill shot since he will, uh, whatchamacallit, he's, uh, he's technically a little bit faster than the other floater bloaters, so just kind of make sure that no one, like, overtakes him kind of sort of but by the looks of it this is looking like the last worthwhile chest we are going to be able to uh, worthwhile might not be the word for it but it looks like the last chest we're going to be able to get and we do still have some hatches and whatnot we could use so let's see what we have within these other areas and see if maybe they unearth any chests and that's a chopper so that's going to be no for me dog and over here in wooden room numero two we have uh, no more hatchets that's what we have hold on i think I, I could i could like steal one i definitely saw a hatchet up in one of these things right i'm not going crazy here there there was uh that's that's a pickaxe okie dokie maybe i am crazy no we're freaking good let's get this thing chopped on down ain't nothing gonna stop me and my raiden tendencies Ooh, piece of candy i actually do have a couple of things that maybe god dang it that thing broke okay is there like another one ah you know what we might be able to do even like, we have plenty of noise to play with here, right? So, I think what we're going to do is uh, just try to craft up another level 1 hatchet. We also are getting some decent things here. Nothing out of this world. Definitely not worth the C4 we put into it, which makes me a little bit of a sad panda. Uh, the, the fact that crafting that hatchet raises noise also makes me a sad panda. But, I mean, like I'm saying, we got some noise to play with. The question is, though, will we end up benefiting from playing with that noise? And so far, that's looking like no, 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 no. Let's just try to take out the rest of these guys because they're about to be overtaken. Actually, let's take out these fast biters first since they are overtaken. The abominations and the blotas. Uh, let's try not to get swarmed by them too hard because yikes. Yeah, our armor is starting to get a wee bit dinked up, which might be a no-go from me. Get a little bit of separation from these dudes so we can take out. There we go. Just let the fast biter get to the front of the pack and then let these guys. Well, they ain't overtaking anyone. If this was a relay race, they'd all be staying in the same position. We just got to bring this last, not last, but we got to bring this first toxic abomination to justice before the next one in the conga line must go down. And this guy is already a little bit weakened, so we're going to be looking A-OK. -okay. But, yeah, a little bit disappointed by this raid. This one's a pretty mad one by the looks of it to me. I am, I'm, I'm, it's, eh. That, 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 that's today's star rating of the day, all right? Out of five, out of ten, I'm giving this, or like, out of five, get it five stars, five star rating. <laughs> I'm giving it an eh. 
It's, it's, it doesn't even deserve a number. It gives him an eh out of 10. He's using a C4 for what we got. I don't know, man. C4 can be a lot more beneficial than what we decided to blow it on in the contents of this base. So if you guys come across this base, as a little bit of a warning, it might be in your best interest to not even use any C4 if you have it. Because, like, I mean, you're not going to get anything all that amazing unfortunately i know that's always sucks to hear especially if you work towards a raid and then this is what you get and like i i just hate that that's a thing that you like you know what should happen i feel like you should have the option this might be the solution to the rating issue that i've seen as a little bit of a hot topic and i totally agree with rating i i feel like it does need a revamp it's needed one for a little bit of a while but uh, especially now it just seems like we've had a little like a lot of people are talking about having worse luck lately too which i think really brings it into ooh la la thank you great level up today but you know what i'd love to see is maybe the opportunity to go through a couple of bases you know where like you can maybe pick between three bases that the raiders give you for example that way like you know if you go to this base and you kind of see it you could be like okay why don't i check out the next base I, I feel like that'd be a pretty fair system where like the raiders maybe give you three bases as options you can only raid one of them but it does give you three bases. And then upon doing some research, you can maybe know that, oh, I have the tools to break into this base or something. I, I don't know. It just feels so disappointing when, you know, especially like in the case of if you like quest through all of the like raiding quests. Or even if you drop some coins to try and get one of these raids. And then you end up with one like this. That's like, that's one of the bigger feelings of disappointment you could feel, man. It's just, uh, and especially in the case like where you're like working towards it with raids or even dropping dollary dues and some coinage to make it happen. It just, it just a freaking shot in the heart at that point because you either invested your time or your money into a raid that's whack. And, I mean, those are some nice pantalones, but besides those pantalones, this is whack. I don't know. At least that's my thoughts around it, and I'll, I'll take the one battery. That gives us a chance of getting some copper at least to kind of redeem this raid. But um, I do believe that is going to wrap it up for this. And I'm going to drink your booze, by the way, bro. Get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. I'll, I, you, I don't know if you deserve my vitamin P, but I suppose you could have it, comrades. So I'll go ahead. <laughs> this ain't the good type of vitamin P, though. All right, this one's filled with only bad minerals. It won't be granting you no good luck. And, uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do, too. We'll go and put the gasoline away. And then, uh, whatchamacall, we should have a couple of other, uh, one more slot that we could work with from there. But uh, other than that, that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival as well. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Seriously, do appreciate it. And like I'm saying, sorry if we sound a little bit different it's, it's the next week. Just the videos sound a little bit different. That That's the reason. But no worries. We're going to be keeping up with them and all that type of jazz. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Best of luck to you guys in the brand new $25 iTunes Touch Play Store gift card giveaway kicking off today. Cannot wait to hear what y'all got to say in that comment section down below regarding i don't know just the global map and hopefully how dope of a weekend you guys are having honestly could not hope for anything other than that best of luck to you guys and gals getting the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck bringing your pups getting the true friend perk loving up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids hopefully doper than this one defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you getting past the multiplayer wall had the most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout and we still got one more fan freaking fantastic thing to do in today's video and that is see if the airdrop is at least a little bit worthwhile before we decide to go ahead and start driving our motorcycle having booty back on towards our home base and preparing and scheming up the next raid, which will hopefully be a lot doper. And no women, 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 no women. You gotta open this, bro. No way. Okay, kind of decent. Goodbye shoes. All right, I'm sorry to you, but you've been you've been overtaken. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Hey. Give you guys a whole ton for watching. Hub, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.